live from the Atlas Space Flight Operations Center at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. You're watching coverage of the launch of NOAA's GOES-R, the Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellite R-Series. About 8,000 guests and employees have gathered at Kennedy Space Center and surrounding areas to view this launch, and many more are on the beaches and causeways across the Space Coast. There also are about 50 TV meteorologists from around the uh, country gathered to watch the launch, representing national news networks and local stations, and these are the future users of NOAA's GOES-R satellite, some of whom have already seen its wonder through simulations and animations provided by NOAA. Liftoff is targeted for the opening of a one-hour launch window at 5.42 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The weather forecast cannot get any better. 45th Space Wing Weather Squadron Meteorologist Clay Flynn now predicting a 100% chance of favorable weather. With temperatures in the mid-70s, scattered clouds about 3,500 feet, winds from the northwest 10 to 15 knots, a very good weather forecast for today's launch. The GOES-R series includes four satellites and is the next generation of GOES satellites that will provide continuous imagery and atmospheric measurements of the Earth's western hemisphere. All fueling operations are proceeding normally. They got started a little bit late um, as the teams worked through a couple of minor issues. And the offset from that is that our, our hold that occurs at the T-minus four minute mark, normally a planned 15 minute hold, now will be a six minute hold as launch managers borrowed nine minutes from the T minus four minute hold and added it to the hold that was in place prior to the start of fueling. So we'll enter that hold at 5.32 p.m. Eastern time, 10 minutes away from launch. Again, everything is proceeding normally. Weather is 100% go. And we're at T minus 43 minutes, 28 seconds and counting. This is Atlas Launch Control. 